action. Welcome to my channel everybody. My name is Jen. I do DIY lifestyle and garden content every week on my channel so feel free to stick around for that. This week we are tackling the makeover of this bad boy right here. It was crusty, it was dusty, it was full of cat hair and now it is a beautiful little golden aqua moment here in my living room. Let's go ahead and get into the makeover. Okay, so this is our starting point. As you can see, it needs a lot of love. It has a lot of tape residue all over the sides and the front. Got lots of hair and gross stuff. For the most part, I'm going to be using a vinegar water mixture to clean this out. And now for a time lapse of me suffering through cleaning this so you don't have to. was the freaking bane of my existence. It took me so long to get it off. Yep, just making sure that it's all nice and dry and clean before I shut it. And uh, then we can move on to cleaning the outside. I'm gonna start by sweeping off all of the dust and dirt. go in with a pretty heavy hand of that uh, vinegar mixture. You can see I tried to use a magic eraser that did not work at all and I ended up using a dish scrubby, you know those little green ones, and again just like let that soak. Now the scrubby actually worked surprisingly well to get this like packing tape residue off. Uh, I also peeled off the, the decal here. The stuff on the sides here was really tough to get off. I don't know if it was like a change in the finish, but again, this took me forever. You can see me get frustrated there that it's not working. And here I try to use a magic eraser again, it just flung out everywhere. So I just resorted to using some sandpaper. And you know, this it did work pretty well. I could have definitely spent a lot more time doing this. Um, but honestly, I didn't want to kick up that much dust and uh, wet sanding it did it, it did an all right job. It did it did the trick. Let's say that. I'm giving everything a little final scrub and wipe down, just drying it off completely. And I'm gonna go ahead and mask off all of the pieces that I don't want paint on. All of the paints that I'm using today are Krylon, uh, not sponsored, but I wish. <laughs> the color here is Matte Aqua, and I'm just doing a nice light layer here for the first coat. Now I'm not too worried about getting any of the paint on the handle because the way that I looked at it, it was kind of more of a primer um, for those pieces that it kind of accidentally got onto. And once it was all dry, it kind of had this like powdery texture on the top. Um, I gave it a little wipe down because it was, it was like almost dusty. And then I gave it a quick little sand, making sure to don my PPE. PPE people are very important. I ended up doing almost four coats of this color uh, and I m made sure to wait in between. I was, I was outside on a nice sunny day. So it was about, you know, 15, 20 minutes between coats or so. Once I was done with that, I took the Krylon Outdoor in white, matte white, uh, to go along the sides of the fridge. Once again, I didn't really like tape it off too much because I wasn't too worried about getting any color transfer. I'm also going in quite heavy on the side here because I'd rather have drippy paint than the texture of like the tape crap that was underneath. If I was doing it again, I would spend a little bit more time um, kind of getting it prepared, getting the surface nice and smooth before doing so, but I'll probably go in with another coat uh, when I get some more spray paint. Once the blue was dry, I went in with the Satin Crystal Clear. And this actually, it gives a really, really nice finish. 
So I just did two coats of this on the blue. I didn't do it on the white because again, I ran out of spray paint. So uh, I'll have to do that in another time. And now we're masking off all of the pieces that we actually want to spray paint in the gold color. Now I made the mistake of not using big enough sheets of paper because I was trying to be conservative and not waste paper because I didn't have any like newspaper or anything laying around or old magazines. So uh, learn from me, use a little bit more because you will get spray off uh, going on the rest of your piece. But that's okay, it still turned out really nicely and I am very happy with the end result. Now going in with the metallic gold shiny finish here, it's so beautiful. Um, just making sure that there's no dust on it and this honestly could have just used one single coat I ended up ruining it and having to redo it, unfortunately, because I tried to put the crystal clear, like the satin on top. And I don't know if I didn't wait long enough or what happened with it, but uh, it just ruined the finish completely. So again, I had to redo it, but here it looks perfect. So <laughs> enjoy before I absolutely ruined it. Now enjoy this ASMR tape peeling moment. I am so happy with how this turned out. Despite some of its little flaws, it is exactly the look that I was going for and it saved this piece of equipment from going into the trash. So I'm very happy with it. Thank you so much for sticking around for this week's video. I hope you like this transformation. I found it very satisfying. I hope you did too. If that is something that you'd like to see more, definitely stick around. We do new videos every week. Bye. Nope, I'm gonna... I cannot wait to turn this AC back on. It is so hot. I don't know. Um, okay, um...